Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another cooking video of mine. I want to show you today um, one of the most popular soups in Germany probably. Um, it's called the cheese soup. Um, there is not really real cheese in it, but um, I will show you everything. We use little packages, you know, with mixes for the soup in Germany. Of course, you guys don't sell it. <laughs> and um, for this soup, I'm going to be using a topping with mushrooms. That's something you don't have to do. And this is the cheese. I buy the laughing cow and it's um, creamy Swiss. So I will also put a little bit of potato in there. This is um, you can do it or not. I have some leeks, love my leeks <laughs> and some dill. Um, yeah, I also have some olive oil, so it's gonna be quick and easy. Really, there is nothing special. Everything will go in one pot, and um, you can skip the mushrooms if you don't like the mushrooms. I often make it without a topping, but sometimes I do with mushrooms, like I said, and I wanted to show you the full thing, and then you can decide if you want a topping or not. So let's just start. I will heat up some olive oil in my pot. If you have um, fatty ground meat, um, please don't use oil because there will be no fat, but I grind my meat myself and this one is not very fatty. So I add some olive oil and now I'm going to fry it a little bit and I will break it up in little pieces while I'm frying it. As you can see, I didn't fry it too much and I'm adding my leeks already because um, I want it all to be a mix, you know, so it's gonna be all good. So I mixed it up. Now add some salt and pepper. You know, it's optional how much. And here I add my Swiss cheese and now it starts to look not very good, I would say. <laughs> you wouldn't or you couldn't tell that it's really yummy. <laughs> I'm gonna add some water and this soup is creamy. So, you know, just add water a little by little so you can see, mix it up and um, if you like it thicker, then don't add too much, you know, just add water um, for the thickness you like. So there is some potatoes. I sliced them really thin because I want everything to be done quickly. And I bring it to a boil, I cover it up, and I'm just going to cook it until the potatoes are done, probably around five minutes. So it goes really quick. And while I do so, I'm gonna make the topping. And the topping is some onions. I fry them with olive oil and i like to put my salt and pepper on top right away just because <laughs> so i'm not gonna fry them too much either it's up to you if you like them um, fried a little more then just go for it you know it's cooking you can do whatever you like to do um, it depends on your taste now i'm gonna add the mushrooms and i sliced them very thin as well and I'm going to fry everything together for probably around five minutes. If um, it builds up too much fluid, that um, then please um, just wait a little bit until the mushrooms soak it back up because they will. So that's done. I'm gonna add dill. If you don't like dill, then don't add any, but you know, the Russian people eat a lot of dill. <laughs> so I put dill almost everywhere. And um, yeah, there is that. It's all done. And while I was making my topping, my soup was ready and this is how it looks like. And I'm loving it. <laughs> Normally I do not add dill on top like that. I just did it to take a picture. So yeah, I like my dill, but not, um, in big branches like that. <laughs> and um, yeah, as you can see, the soup is very creamy and this is how it's supposed to be. I do not mix it up. You can mix it up with the topping if you like to, but I just put everything on one spoon and eat it like that. And I'm loving it. I'm a soup person. I like cream soups. I like normal soups, you know, I need to have a soup for dinner or lunch at least once a week. Sometimes I eat the soup for lunch every day. <laughs> so yeah, this is how it looks like. 
I'm going to be eating the soup with a flatbread and I showed you last week how I make the bread. It's very, very quick and easy and I'm going to be putting a cart up there in the corner if you didn't see it. You know, while the soup was cooking, I actually made the flatbread because it's just so easy to make and goes really, really quick. So, yeah, like I said. If you didn't see that, then um, click on the card and it will take you there. But for now, if you like my recipe, please, as always, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and yeah, I will see you soon. So enjoy your day. Bye-bye.